So this is my aquaponic system. Uh, down below I have a fish tank and one uh, large fish uh, down here. He's a, kind of a sucker fish uh, that cleans the tank. Uh, I also have a couple of small tetras. Uh, three small tetras, two kind of ghost fish. I don't know if you can see them uh, in the tank. And then inside this uh, piece of wood, there's actually three loaches, uh, clown loaches, so the yellow ones with the white stripes. Uh, up above uh, is where my plants are growing, and right now I'm just growing mint, uh, so that's the only thing I'm growing. I found that I did grow some lettuce, uh, and I was actually growing a tomato plant, uh, but because I only have one light source on top, uh, when, the, when the tomato plant started growing too high, uh, the ones down below wasn't weren't getting enough light, so I found that I I would only grow, you know, one type of plant at a time. Uh, so right now I'm doing mint, uh, and you can see it's growing. I've already cut a lot of them because uh, they've grown too big, <laughs> so it, it's kind of nice and it's taken over the whole, the whole system. This actually started from one plant. Um, the starting plant is over here, down there. Uh, then it kind of expanded. Uh, and since then I've actually taken some snipping or clips uh, and I've actually replanted them as well. So there's one back here that I've replanted uh, and it's doing really well as well. Now the way this system works is it is an ebb and flow system. So from my uh, tank I have a pump down here so it sucks up the water. That water goes down uh, into a canister. So that comes down at the base there as a canister, which then pumps the water back up um, into my uh, system where I'm growing my mint. Uh, and in here, it's just a it's just a bucket uh, with some rocks in it. Uh, so these are just the pebbles. Um, and what happens is it fills up with water. Once the water reaches a certain height, um, it starts flowing down this tube. Uh, in the tube back into the tank uh, and so it does fill up uh, you can see the water's rising right now and it will reach a certain tar or point if I open this up in here uh, it's actually a bell siphon that I'm using so what happens I'll just pull this off what happens is it reaches a certain height and then the water starts flowing down the tube once it starts flowing down the tube uh, it creates a siphon, and once it creates that siphon, it won't let up on that siphon until it reaches the bottom. So that's on here, there's some holes at the bottom, and that will release some air into the siphon. And once the air is released into the siphon, uh, the siphon stops. So right now, you can see the water is actually up at the top of the rocks. And I'll just put the bell back on. And once that's backed on, it should actually start the siphon as well. So you can see here the water's starting to flow. In fact, now I've... Let me just see if it kick-started it. Kick-starts it. I have to give it... So here you can see the siphon has started uh, and it's going down. Now we'll do this automatically uh, and if I go in the back here you can see it's just pushing into the uh, back into the tank down below. Down below and the other thing that this is beneficial to to the the tank it does push out the bubbles as well so it kind of aerates the water. I do have kind of a little bubbler uh, over on the side as well. And so the water's draining. Well, I'll record one whole cycle here. Now, a couple of things that I, I noticed with the bell siphon, at least, uh, is I did start to put little holes at the top. So here I put a little air hole because um, I found sometimes it wasn't releasing this the siphon. And the other thing down here is I found it was it was really good to put this elbow in because uh, that kind of kick starts the siphon as well. So if it's just a straight tube going down, uh, sometimes I found that the siphon didn't start up. So it did stop, so you can see here there's no water going through. Um, and so that means that the water is actually filling up in the bucket. 
I don't know if you can see that line of water that's slowly going up and then once it reaches a certain height I'll go down here to the tube You can start. You can see a little bit of water starting to go at this point. And then it starts getting a little bit faster. And then eventually it will kick in uh, and it will just start sucking all the water out. So here it goes, and now it's going to take all the water. And so now if I looked at the water level, you'll start to see the water level drop slowly, and then at some point it will stop. Uh, once it reaches a certain level, the air is going to get into that bell. Once that air gets into the bell, it will stop the siphon. And that's how my system works.